the universe is 14 billion years old, and most of it is full of shit. Life emerged on Earth about 3.7 billion years ago and has been in a state of constant war ever since. The first multicellular organisms appeared about 650 million years ago. The first humans appeared about 300,000 years ago and the first civilizations about 5,000 years ago. The constant war has never stopped, so it seems only natural to blow something up. We're going to do a thought experiment where we nuke the Middle East. In the future, we'll have to go to the moon and get our oil. Fossil fuels are killing the environment and will lead to an uninhabitable world within the decade. Later on in the video, we'll discuss crazy theoretical technology that we're decades away from developing that may solve the problem. Or you can just vote the bad people out of power. That definitely always works. Space is really big. If you tried to think about it, you'd fail. But how do we colonize it? We're going to need a lot of energy. We're also going to need a lot of water and we're going to need a lot of materials. So, what are we going to use for energy? We start with the sun. We've gotten all of our energy from the sun up to this point, so why stop now? The sun is the reason we're all alive and the reason life as we know it exists at all. Someday, the sun will die, taking everything in the solar system with it. Humanity is likely to have been gone for millions of years before that happens. Quite possibly due to a great filtering event like a nuclear holocaust. Or maybe someone will turn the simulation off. Perhaps an asteroid similar to the one that killed the dinosaurs will strike. Or maybe the planet will randomly turn into platinum. But most likely, we'll all die in a nuclear holocaust. At least, that's what we hope for. See our sources in the description if you're interested in learning more. Although with my authoritative British voice and well-written script, chances are you'll take what I say at face value, even though we're vastly oversimplifying and leaving out key parts of the topic. We trust the general public to do their own informed research and not just regurgitate what we say at parties to sound smart. Our entire history can be traced back to the first sparks of life. It evolved into the ridiculous creatures we see today. The complexity that has emerged over billions of years of evolution has led us to this point, standing on the edge of the universe looking back. You're a part of this epic story that has unfolded over billions of years, slowly building up more and more complexity and intelligence until a species like humans emerged to think about how insignificant they really are. If you want to feel insignificant, and we think you do, think about the fact that the universe is 14 billion years old, and that there are trillions of galaxies in the observable universe, and that there are trillions and trillions of stars in each of these galaxies, and then count all the planets in the universe, and then count all the different ways life could have emerged and evolved in the universe, and then count all the ways that all of those things could have led to you. You are an irrelevant human being in the great cosmos, and you should be fucking grateful to even experience it. But you're special in the sense that you are part of the epic story that is the history of life on Earth. And you're special in the sense that you are part of the epic story that is the history of the universe. You are special because you exist. Because there is something instead of nothing. We try to end these videos in a comforting way. But if we're being honest, we're not very good at that. Speaking of not being very good at things, here's an awkward transition to our merch. We've painstakingly designed a calendar that you can hang on your wall to remind you of how little time you have left, no matter how young you are. Fuck you and your happiness. You know, they actually make some pretty compelling points.